Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweater and our video in this video I want to show you how you can easily blur the background for your images when you're shooting outdoors. So bl blurring images basically depends on a number of factors. First of all, the lens, then also the distance of the lens from your subject or your model, then the distance of your background from your model also depends on how much blur you're going to be getting in your images. So I, I want to show you all go through the settings and everything you have to understand about getting a blurry background. So if at all you have a lens that opens up or a lens that has an aperture that is going to be wide open for letting in more light, it means that that lens is going to be blurring the background more than a lens with a slightly higher aperture. So by higher aperture, I mean, if at all your lens is at f4 and you have another lens at f1.4 or f2.8, it means the one with f2.8 or f1.4 is going to be having a more blurry background than the one whose aperture or whose f-stop is at around f4 or f5. So basically, when you're changing the aperture, we tend to close the lens and the amount of light entering the lens is going to be determined by the amount of or the number of f-stop or the aperture you decide to put into the lens before shooting. So if at all you have a lens that goes up to around f2.8, it means that you're going to be able to switch or put in that f-stop 2.8 and you are going to be having a blurry background when you take your images. So just want to demonstrate in this very video about the different f-stop number or the different apertures and how you can easily have a blurry background for your images so the very first factor that i told you always make sure the distance between your model or your subject and the background is relatively much so this is going to be enabling you have that kind of a a, a field view that is very long meaning the lens is going to only focus on what is closer and the longer the background is or the further away the background is the more blurry it is going to be appearing in the photo so the other thing you have to take into consideration is when you're taking the photo always if at all the lens you're using the aperture is a little bit up to around f4 it means the lens won't open up and let in so much light in it so for that case, always make sure you zoom your lens all the way and you'll be able to have that kind of blurry background. So enough of that, let's just start shooting and we see how these factors are going to depend or determine the quality of, of the background blur for our image. So let's just start and the model for today is Fanta Me. and also check the links in the description of this video if at all you want to check out, out on Instagram. So right now I'm just going to start shooting. And I want to first of all demonstrate this. So as you're shooting outdoors, you can notice that I'm using a natural light and the sun is just overhead. But always make sure to get the best out of the images. The model is standing in a kind of a shade. So I'm just going to show you how these factors are going to be determining the amount of blur that we're going to be having. Or the bokeh, or some people call it bokeh, that we are going to be with the image. So I'm just going to come. And I'm going to turn on the camera and first of all take a photo. So right now the settings I'm using, I'm using ISO 100 and the shutter speed of 200 and the lens is wide open up to 2.8. So if at all the image I've just taken is a little bit brighter so I'll just increase the shutter speed a little and I'll take a second photo right now so i'll just take another photo here and i'll just be showing you that on the screen so right now i'm shooting at f2.8 and you can see that i have a blurry background for this very image so if at all i'm um, to close the amount of light by taking up the upper chapter around f around f f7 or f8 I'm just going to simply reduce on the shutter speed and slightly increase on the ISO. So I want to show you 
how these factors are going to be changing the amount of blood that we have in the image. You can see right now the background is a little bit getting more in focus. And now the background is a little bit visible in this very image. So if at all I'm to even increase the f-stop number or the aperture to f11, it means I've closed the amount of light entering the lens. And in this case, when you close the aperture to around f11, it means even the background is going to be a little bit more in focus. So I'm just going to increase the ISO because I've closed the lens to allow the camera to have a little bit more light entering. So right now you can see that the background is a little bit more in focus. Then the other thing that you have to take into consideration is the distance. So if at all you want to get um, a blurry background and you are shooting with a lens that is a little bit a relatively inexpensive lens rather that can go up to f5 so what you have to do you always have to step back and make sure you zoom your lens all the way in so for that for that instance i'm just going to take the iso down so for that case if at all the aperture is all the way to f4 and you take a photo it means that you always have to zoom all the way in so that you can have that kind of blurry effect but usually you have to take into consideration the distance between the lens itself and the distance of the model from the background so if at all the model is closer to the background it means the amount of blur is going to be or the background is going to be a little bit in focus if at all she is close or near the background but if at all she is far away from the background it means the lens is going to be focusing more on our model and the background is going to be out of focus. So for my case, I'm using a 70-200 millimeter lens. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply take it back to the default, which is f2.8. And with a shutter speed of 1 out of 400th of a second, I'll keep it at 2.8. So if I totally want to get more blur from your lens, Make sure, if at all, I'm closer to height means the amount of blur I'm going to get in such an image is going to be more. So if at all I wanted to increase on the amount of blur in the background, I'll simply step forward and zoom all the way in. So with f2.8, I'll take a photo. And you can see that the background is going to be very blurry or out of focus then if at all maybe i want to take a full photo i would keep the same settings and i'll just step back a little bit and i'll take another photo and still maintain the amount of blur within the image so i'll just take a, another one so let me have you pause so you can see that the background is very out of focus because the distance from the model to the background is going to be also depending on the amount of blood that I'm going to be having out of uh, the image taken. So I'm at 2.8. So if at all, for example, I'm taking different people and I wanted the scene in, in focus, I'll simply increase the aperture, meaning I'll be closing the amount of light entering. Then I'll simply... Since I've closed down the aperture of this camera, I'll simply increase the ISO and take down the shutter speed slightly. So I'll take the same photo from uh, the same distance. And you can notice that now the background is getting to be in focus. Then if I told I wanted to have more of the background in focus, I would simply zoom, zoom out and simply take the same photo by coming closer and you can notice that now the background is visibly in focus. So this is how you can easily blur the background for your images when you're doing outdoor shoots. But what you have to take into consideration, if at all you have a lens that can really open up, wide open, f1.4, 1 1.8, f2.8, switch the aperture to that amount of f-stop, then make sure that the distance between the lens itself and the distance from the model to the background is very 
big. So you have a very big distance from the model to the background itself. So that is how you can easily get a black background if I told you are using a slightly expensive lens because lenses that are really expensive are going to enable you to blur the background more than inexpensive lenses. Then if at all you're having an inexpensive lens that has usually an aperture of f4 or f5, it means one thing you have to take into consideration, make sure the model is standing far away from the background. So if at all you have such a lens, make sure that you step all the way behind and you take the photo after zooming all the way in so that you can have that kind of blurry background. So I just hope you have really understood a thing or two from this video. And if at all you have learned a thing or two from this very video. So let me just do a quick recap. The lower the aperture, the more blurry the background is going to be. So an aperture of f1.4 is going to be creating a blurry or a bokeh that is blurry or the background is going to be more blurry than an aperture that is around f5 or f4. So basically that is how you can easily use aperture to blur the background if at all you're shooting outdoors. So this is it for this video and if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography and we have been with Fante and I'll see you in yet another video. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.